Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am going to talk about some makeup products or random products that I have used up. I saw this tag going around a long time ago. I don't know if it's you know really that active, but I figured I want to share this because there are so many things that as girls like pretty much you like hit pan on or finish up and they're really good stuff so I want to talk about it. So the first product would be the Luscious Cupcake Face Mask. It's um I think I had mine in the fridge, but I use at least one of those uh, face mask pots once every two weeks. I use them up like crazy. They're my favorite face. So this is something I go through and I buy boxes. Like I buy like, I don't even know, like this big giant box from Amazon. And it's baby wipes. I use baby wipes to remove my makeup. And another thing that I use to remove my makeup is... I guess I don't have it here, but it's the Pond's Cold Cream. And I love the Pond's Cold Cream and Baby Wipes together. It removes waterproof mascara, any false lashes. It's, it's just great. As far as hair care, I always use a heat protectant spray when I am, you know, applying heat to my hair. So I have used up two of these KQC Thermal Shine Sprays. I also use the Tresemme one. And then um, for hairspray, I really like the TG Bedhead one, the pink one. You know, I'll have like, you know, a zoom in photo of it or like video footage of it, but I love that pink hairspray. It smells really good. Like tropical or something like that and so let's go ahead and continue i brought like a little ziploc baggie so um this lash is really this lash glue is really embarrassing look how icky i made it already yuck but i love this lash glue and i've used up two already and i have a third one or like my backup one and this is my favorite lash glue ever because it, it doesn't have to stay on the false lashes too long for it to actually stick to your lashes like the duo and it doesn't have that this disgusting duo like smell you know like that duo one oh I do not recommend it I don't when I see people using it I'm like don't you like not like the smell or something but anyhow everyone's free to use whatever they want and then I have not hit pan on any of the naked palette colors but I am very close to hitting pan on the naked sin as well as half-baked and you know it took me probably forever to buy the naked palette but my friend Jackie as well as Evelina we were hanging out back in December we went to Sephora and they were like April you need to buy it and so I was like oh my god and it is the best thing I've ever purchased because I use it on a daily basis this is like my regular eye makeup routine right here I pretty much use sin and then I use buck on the the crease and on the outer I could not have imagined using up a brow powder but I have Look at that, all gone, completely gone. This is the Jane Iredale Bitty Brow Kit in Brunette. Oh my goodness, look how old and beat up this looks. As far as foundations, I'm really sad, but I'm running out of my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, and my, my specific shade is B40 or beige, and I love this foundation. I I totally understand why it's so expensive, because it's... It just really great gives a really great like flawless coverage and it's buildable and it smells pleasant and it doesn't it doesn't dry so quickly when I'm blending. It's just everything I want in a foundation and it has SPF 15. So I used it a step and I need to buy more. And oh my goodness, I have used this Kors primer forever. I've used it for years and it's my favorite primer. I keep trying new ones and I don't know why. I really don't know because this is my favorite and I have used at least like five tubes of these. They're pretty pricey. I think they're close to $30 but they're worth it and this is the Kors Anti-Aging Primer and I like it because it's just so smooth and it, it doesn't leave my skin looking all shiny and oily. Like you know how silicone ones have like have that effect this one doesn't as far I really as love eyelash it. primer i really like the maybelline double xl pro extensions and the weird thing is i don't like the mascara part i only like the white part and i put the white part and i prime my lashes and it, it makes your lashes thicker and it, it makes it longer because of the fibers in it or it just makes the ends look longer so you let it dry for like five minutes and then or less, it takes less minutes to for it to dry and then you put mascara on and your lashes look amazing. So I've been using this forever, probably like, I don't know, like since I was in, in college. So for a while now, so I like it a lot. This is a recent purchase, but I'm all done using it. It's the Tarte Maracuja Divine Shine Lip Gloss. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but the shade is in Blushing Bride. I loved it so much because it's so minty fresh, it glides on smooth, 
The consistency is slightly sticky, but not so sticky that it like, like gets stuck in your lips. Love it. I loved it so much that I purchased a couple of different shades, but I really do like the Blushing Bride, so I'm going to repurchase it again. And let's see. Oh my goodness. I've talked about this so many times, but I love this concealer. It's the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, and I like it because it's so easy to just like, whoop, you know, you just put it under and then you just pat, 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 and you're good to go. And I just, I, I've never been like a concealer person ever until recently. And now I'm like, ah, concealer. You know what it was? My friend, Tati Glam Life Guru, she taught me that concealer is really important. She gave me a makeover once and I'm like, wow, I need concealer. So I've been applying concealer every single time I like make a YouTube video now so that my face doesn't look all dark or my under eyes. So yeah, thank you Tati for your tip because that's why I wear concealer. I have two mascaras to talk about. I really like the Buxom Lash Mascara in Black is Black. And I'm a weirdo. I like to get the sample sizes and I buy them off eBay. Like, people don't like the sample sizes, but I do because when you get a long one like this, sometimes there's like leftover like mascara that you can't reach, but the little sample ones you can't. Like, you get every bit of mascara. And also, most of the time, longer mascaras or the full size ones, they dry before you can finish it up. This doesn't dry before you finish it up. You finish it up before it dries, so I like it. And oh my goodness, I love the Mally Volumizing Mascara. I love Mally Beauty products, I really do. And I wish that so many others were introduced to it or purchased it. I, pop, I bought my first Mally products on the QVC channel. I saw an infomercial, I'm like, oh my god. I'm an infomercial, infomercial person, like when I see an infomercial, I like want to buy it, like, you know, like, I saw, there. this is actually from the HSN channel, my little jewelry store, so as you can see, I'm really into, you know, anything on the HSN, the QVC channel, as seen on TV, so I actually saw Mally did um, a demo of the volumizing mascara, and that's why I buy it, and oh my gosh, holy cow, it does provide a lot of volume, but it does not provide length. So if you like a volume, if you want like thicker lashes, get this one. I love it, I use it up, and this is probably my third one. And on the QVC channel, they sell it in twos if you want. Okay, so here I go again with more lip products. I love Castle Dew lip glosses. I think Castle Dew is a Korean cosmetic brand, which is extremely difficult to purchase in the U.S. because where do you find Korean cosmetics? Maybe Koreatown. I have no clue, but I've never found it anywhere in a store. So I buy it online. I used to buy it from this website called AsianFashionCity.com. I think Yes Style or random like Asian stores might have it. But oh my goodness, this Castle Dew lip gloss smells amazing. It smells like strawberries. It does. And I love the way it smells. I love the consistency. I love everything about it. I am going to to Beijing, Hong Kong, as well as Tokyo. So I'm going to go like on a big Asia trip um, in August for my one year wedding anniversary with my husband. And I hope and pray that I will find some Castle Dew glosses because I'm going to come back with 20 and I'm coming back with some for you friends if I find some because I want to share the joy of the Castle Dew glosses. And then I love this Stila gloss. It's co it's in cotton candy. It's like a sorbet color and I just, oh, I love it. As far as perfume, again, I'm going to be talking about Mally Beauty. This is Mally's only and first signature perfume. I am all out. Do you see that? No more. I need to buy more. This is my favorite. It smells like flowers and it has hints of this flower. It's called Sampaguita. I'm Filipino and when I was li little um, or when I would visit the Philippines with my grandma, we would like there would be a church and there would be people selling these flowers. They were called Sampaguita. And um, Mali is Filipino as well. And she bottled up the smell of some of that Sampaguita flower scent into this perfume. So like this perfume is more than just a perfume to me. It reminds me of my childhood, where I came from. And I don't know, I just love it. And I use it up so much. And this is the perfume that I get so many compliments when I wear it. So I'm so glad that the perfume that I like, that means a lot to me, is actually the, the perfume that I get a lot of com comments and like, you know, great, um, what's it called? Compliments on. So, oh, I love it. I need to buy more. I really need to buy more like ASAP because I love it. Okay, I talked too much about that. I don't know. I feel like hitting pound on blush is, is kind of impossible. <laughs> but I'm almost, I see that I'm almost 
hitting pan on this baby. This is the e.l.f. blush and it is the contouring blush and bronzing powder duo. Back in the day when the NARS um, orgasm blush was popular with that bronzer together, I think it's like Laguna or an orgasm. This was kind of like everyone's dupe for it, like an affordable dupe. I bought it and I really love it. I still use it on a regular basis and I'm almost, almost there. I'm almost hitting pan. Can you believe that? <laughs> Ooh, and um, okay, so let me tell you, I have used a probably at least oh my goodness my hair is crazy today okay so I have used up probably seven of these I kid you not seven of these when I started YouTube videos three years ago June 21st will actually be my three-year anniversary but when I started this is the foundation that I was using because the very first youtuber I used to watch her, her name is Cynthia Chanel blue satin she uses this so I was like if Cynthia uses it I'm gonna use it and I use up seven of these bottles and I love it it is the Maybelline mineral power natural perfecting foundations in medium and oh my goodness I love this foundation. You know what? I was actually looking through my foundation, my drawers, looking through what I used up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how come I don't use this anymore? I really should start using this again because it's a very, very affordable alternative to what I regularly use, which is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. Let's see. And oh my gosh, another alternative to foundation is um, tinted moisturizer. I'm like, I can't even. I feel like it's better to um, wear tinted moisturizer during the summer because you don't want to look like a cake face. It really shows like when you're in the sun and you have foundation on. But tinted moisturizer has a different effect because it's slightly sheer. And this is my favorite. It's the Adovia Mineral Sheer Tint SPF 20. And the, the shade I get is medium. And I just love it. It's just so easy. I just rub with my hands and I'm done. And I've used up two of these. So that goes to show I like it. And this is my third. As far as a foundation powder or a setting powder, this is what I've been using for over seven years probably. It's the Jane Iredale, I mean, this is probably like my 10th powder refill. This is the Jane Iredale Golden Glow Pure Press Mineral Base. You can use it alone as a powder foundation, but I like to use it as an extra like setting powder or, you know, extra coverage. And I love it so much. I, I think the packaging is very beautiful too. It's nice and sweet. I am going to be moving, but I will be still uploading on a regular basis after the move. It's just six doors down, a bigger place, <laughs> an extra room, so that's awesome. Um, and by the way, this is my jewelry HSN storage. I'm really excited about it, and it's a mirror too. It, like, it's over the door, and if you want me to do a separate, complete video on just this, let me know in the information box, and thumbs up if you like. Have a beautiful day. Bye.